everybody welcome back so today i thought i would show you a very quick easy relatively inexpensive dish that you can make for your family um, it's chicken pot pie my family absolutely loves chicken pot pie but they don't like the ones that you buy at the store they much prefer it when i make it at home so and it's so easy and just a simple quick thing like if you've just got a few minutes that you want to prep something you can throw it in the freezer it's you know quick if you just want to come home and just make something real fast that's still homemade but really easy to make um, all you need is i boiled some chicken already i picked up some deep dish pie crust from the freezer section at walmart you have some veg all just the original veg all i got two big cans because i'm actually going to make two pot pies i think we're going to have company over for dinner and then I use cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. I am funny about how much fat is in our food. So I do get the 98% fat free. Um, in my personal opinion, I can't tell the difference in the soups. And once you put it into a pot pie like this, I've never had anybody tell me that they could taste the difference. And if you can't tell, why have the extra fat? So that's what I use to, I put all this stuff together and that's, that's everything that's in it. So as you can see, it's real simple. I mean, it's one, two, three, four, maybe five ingredients, and you've got chicken pot pie that's ready to go into the oven. Now you want your pie crust to stay frozen, and I'm gonna open them up. And so you have four of them because you're gonna need two as your base, and then you're gonna have the other two as your lid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start shredding my chicken. I pull all the fat, I have a garbage disposal over here, so I'm gonna pull all my fat off. And I'm just gonna pull the chicken apart and I'm gonna sit it over here and just pulling again just pulling as much fat off as you can as you start sticking it into the bowl and just squish it you know pull it apart let it be in nice little strips this is the other nice thing about it being something that you make is that you can make the chicken pieces how you want them let's say that you don't have time to boil chicken you could go to the store and you could pick up the canned chicken and put the canned chicken into this. You don't have to boil the chicken. You could pick up a rotisserie chicken. I've done it with leftover rotisserie chicken. Hey Colton. Hello. Um, any, any chicken will do. It doesn't have to be something that you boil right now. This is something that, you know, it's not real chicken specific. Right? Do you like chicken pot pie? Mm-hmm. Yes. The best pie in the world. <laughs> best pie in the world? I don't know if it's the best pie in the world. I don't know. I kind of like apple pie. Ooh, pumpkin pie. Even better. It's almost Thanksgiving, and I am so looking forward to some pumpkin pie. All right. Uh, I normally do a whole pack of chicken because I like chicken in my pot. I like a lot of chicken in my pot pie. So I normally do, if I'm trying to do two pot pies, I'll do a one really big, like medium. I guess not really big. I do one of the medium-sized packs of chicken and I boil that for the, for the pot pie, and I use all of it, all of it in there. Now, you don't have to completely shred it because when you start mixing in the other ingredients, that's gonna help shred it too, especially if you boiled it for a really long time, like I did. They'll just fall apart as you mix it up. But anyway, rotisserie chicken I found is really good in this. You'll like that. But this, I just had chicken in the freezer so I pulled it out to do it. Get this going. It looks like he dropped something. Uh-oh, can you find it and pick it up for me, big guy? It looked like, I don't know if you really Uh-oh. Well, anything. hopefully I didn't. Hope just so. mopped. It looked like he just hit me by the Hey, why don't you do me a favor, big guy? Do yeah. you think, well, do you think that you could start opening some of these pop tops for me? These cans? Oh, I love to, I love to. Oh, wash your hands. Oh, put that down, go wash your hands. hands. There you go. So. Even if you're just opening cans, you gotta wash your hands. <laughs> chicken. Sorry. I thought you might want some chicken. You don't want chicken? I want chicken. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're almost done with the chicken. All right. There's a towel down here, big guy. You want to dry them off? Okay. Now listen, there's a lot of juice in there, so try not to spill it. Okay, you'll have to hold it real level. Okay, baby? Oh, that sound. Oh, snap. Stop, stop, stop. You have it or you need help? Uh-oh. Uh 
You have it or you need help? I'll see. Yeah, I've got it. Good. Thank you for letting us have those tools. Oh, I'm glad you like vegetables so much. He's mad. I wouldn't let him have could make a vegetable at lunch. I normally would have, but we were having popcorn shrimp and potato bites, I guess. I don't know, little potato cubes or whatever. And lunch was ready and I didn't have time to do um, a vegetable. And he was pretty upset with me. I'll dump the water if you'll do the next one. Okay, now I don't think that this bowl is gonna be big enough, so I'm gonna rinse out this pot real quick and I'm gonna mix it into the pot. Now I've already boiled the chicken in here, so it's just got the chicken in it. So I'm just gonna dump the chicken back into here because I'm gonna need a bigger pot. There's a lot oh, of stuff to go in here. This just looks gross. Okay, so, so we'll dump this out. Drain all the water out of the vegetables. Don't do that, big guy. <laughs> Can you pop open these other tops for me? Sure. So we're gonna drain all the water out. We're gonna pour the vegetables in. Yeah, that's what I'm doing the most, is, which is the easiest thing to do. Oh, you need a spoon to open them? And then I okay. can use my hands. You love doing your hands, huh? Mm -hmm. He's a hands-on kind of guy. Oh, wow. Okay. That's as much as I would do it. Huh, that's fine. I don't want you to cut yourself. And plus, I don't want the um, stuff to fall out. Okay, do you out. think that you could give me a big spoon out of the drawer, too? Yeah. I'm going to use your little spoon. That one's different. Don't lick that. Don't lick it. You're not going to like that. It's good in the stuff, but it's not so great just eating it. That's what no, no, the big spoon, big guy. On the other one. This one. Yep. The, which one? This one. Whichever one you grab, big guy. I the stuff. Okay. This one's a humongous spoon. Humongous spoon. Okay. I'll use this to open. <laughs> Go ahead. Use it to open the next one. We'll just move these out of your way. I kind of stole your little spoon, didn't I? The spoon's This one might jiggle out. Ah, ta -da. <laughs> All right. We're going to try one more, and then we'll see if that might be enough. Normally, I do four cans of soup. Ooh. Four cans of soup, two of the big cans of vegetables, and then medium size can or medium size pack of the no don't open it yet i don't know that i'm going to need it but sometimes depending on how much chicken the medium pack is you might need an extra soup so i always have an extra one just in case but you don't always need the extra soup no baby oh, first of all that could cut your tongue so yeah i don't think we're going to need it honey. you don't can you get me out the milk now, I don't put a lot of milk in there, but I do put just a splash of okay, milk you can do the last to, give it, to give it a little bit of a creamy flavor. And again, I use the fat-free milk. But the milk kind of helps give it a nice creamy flavor, and it helps it to not dry out. But it also gives your soup that nice, even flavor. All right. No, I'm good. That's it. Now I'm going to put some salt and pepper to taste. You know, if you don't like salt or if you have, you know, low sodium, you need low sodium. You know, you don't absolutely don't need to do any of these, but my family likes a little salt and pepper in theirs. So, there we go. Makes it sound so weird. All right. So then you want it to be a good, not super, I mean, thick, but not... Not like where it sticks to the spoon. I mean, like stays on the spoon. You want it to fall off nice and good. But you don't want it to be runny either. And then you're going to take your pie crust. And you're just going to fill them. Can I fill the other one? No, Mom's going to do this part, big guy. Okay. You can open. Why don't you come over here and open the other pie crust, though? How about that? Okay. You want me to put them on the counter? Let me let you guys see this. You guys can see how full you want to make them. Now remember, you're going to have a pie crust that's going to have a dome top, so it's okay if they're full. It's okay if they're, you know, a little piled high because that, that 
other pie crust is another deep dish pie crust. So it's going to have room for all, don't do that, no, no, no. So it's going to have room for all this extra filling to kind of go into the top of the crust. All right, now I would say that those are some pretty full pot pies. Okay, just got a little bit left, so I'm just going to risk it and I'm going to put the rest of it in there. Okay, that's it. Now, the reason why you want them frozen is if they're not frozen when you take them out, they break very easily and they're not, they're not very stable when they're, when they're soft. So you want them to be frozen. Go ahead. You want them to be frozen when you take them out. Can't do it. And you see how they, they fit. The truck. You see how they fit perfectly on top of one another. And it doesn't take long for them to defrost. And once they defrost, you can pinch that together and make a nice seal around to where all that um, pie filling won't come out whenever it starts to cook. So you're just gonna let that sit on there for a few minutes, let that kind of thaw a little bit, and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna come back through and pinch the crust together to make a nice seal around your pot pie. And then the last thing you want to do is take a sharp knife and you're gonna want to put an X in the top. It's easier to do it when the pie crust is frozen, so you wanna do that right away before it starts to thaw. Yeah. And that lets out any steam, so you're not spewing out the sides, it'll steam out the top, and it won't break that seal around your pot pie. Now these pot pies are either ready to go into the oven or they're ready to go into the freezer. So this is a pretty easy, pretty easy dinner if you, if you think about it. It didn't take me but just a few minutes to get this stuff done. So anyway, our family loves pot pie and hopefully your family will love it too. If you enjoy the video, please subscribe and we'll see you later.